Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. <laughs> this is Tyler. And now we have Battle Report 278. 278. Kingdom of Equitane versus... The Matt Damon Legions. Yep. Forgot Matt. With the, with the stain over there. Yeah, Speaking the of Matt, stain. I still have his shirt. Oh. <laughs> He's okay. listening to this. Call me. Get your shirt. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. Um, this is a game against you. It is. And your Demon Legions. Yeah, I should have left them home. <laughs> so... Here's my list. It's I believe it's the same as last time. Virtual Renown, blah blah blah. Yep, uh, same uh, same list I used last game. Yes, it is. Or Flam and the Stalker Standard. Yep. Freeze it if you want. My to. eleven brigands. Awesome guys. There you go. Uh, so, I'll let you do your list. Okay, why not? Uh, first I had a uh, Matt Damon Deceiver, six hundred and forty points. Envy, Wizard Master uh, with Protean Magic. It's got Dexter's Tentacles and Piercing Spike. Two units of Myrmidons with a Champ, a Musician, and Piercing Spike. Um, two units of Clawed Fiends, five each, with a Champ, a Musician, and Piercing Spike. I'm starting unit... to see a theme here. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's, an envy, it's an envy list. <laughs> um, next is a, a unit of two Megabyte Gremlins with Unnatural Roots. Two units of... Uh, unnatural Roots? Uh, that was the plus one um, combat res. Okay. Fishing for points, you have to make decisions. <laughs> the, no, just curious. Yeah. Um, two units of uh, five sirens with centipede legs. Um, two units of... Uh, it's a typo. It's, uh, I'm sorry, no, no, it's not. Two units of six um, Idealons, however you pronounce that, uh, with incendes, yeah, incendiary ichor. Uh, and incendiary, then, that's the one that makes you immune makes to... You have, makes you have flame proof but and flaming attacks flame proof and flaming okay yeah and then uh t two blazing glories with cloven hooves impact hits impact right hits okay look at that i'm starting to know what some of the stuff you is you know better than me it's pretty <laughs> amazing um so uh <laughs> just took a couple pictures here yeah so these are your just to make fun of me sirens these are sirens okay they do kind of, you know, works. You're on the right basing. These are the... Why weren't they in the list? And they're on your whole game. They were there. Going, oh, you... Thing. Okay. Claude <laughs> Fiends, yep. Claude Fiends, yeah. Claude Fiends were the uh, Gene Stealers. Yep. Considering my name is Gene, I was terrified this whole game. You should have been. Um, <laughs> Those are my blazing glories. <laughs> Those are my Mervinons. Yes, which I objected to. You did. In my... Uh... But... But in your defense, you did point out that they have very they have very large man mandibles. Mandibles, that's it. <laughs> yeah. They they take out your knees and then they yeah. chew on your head. And, <laughs> and then uh, uh, eolodons or whatever they are. Eolodons. Those are actually um, old old school epic Carnifex models. Really? Yeah, you couldn't use them in epic because they updated them because they were too far too large. Right. But they scale pretty well for <laughs> so. Yeah, I played, uh, we all played 40K, what, two decades ago? Yeah, it's been a while. And this army has just been sitting in a case gathering dust. And it's like, well, I'm never going to play that game again. Did you rebase it? or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because it was round. Before. Yeah, I think it was on a round basis. So I based it up for, rebased everything for Ninth Age. and. Uh, I think like, it's a good fit for your demons. It's like, fine, I just have to, you know, match things up for their abilities. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Even and the Myrmidons. I, and I hadn't painted a... Uh, a character yet so I just pulled this old harpy model that I had since my <laughs> general HUD wings as your deceiver yeah as Matt Damon deceiver since he's a dogma it's, it's Matt Damon there, from dogma. dogma there you yeah. go that yeah. works and this is did that guy have wings yes in the game does he I never used them but okay. <laughs> yes. no he never left his unit <laughs> yes if I recall <laughs> uh, and I stole if you saw last time I was using gold, goblin uh, bolt throwers yeah I couldn't take that so. yes <laughs> I actually <laughs> sent you a picture and said, could you pre please bring your scorpions or you're playing this? <laughs> yes. So uh, there's that's your uh, scorpions. Yes. Which I finally bought and need to get mine painted up. So I you, can, didn't, you didn't buy mine. You bought I didn't ones. buy them. So I, bought, <laughs> yeah. I bought a pair of my own. Yeah. Um, so I rolled it up. Uh, this is a map pack and we I rolled up. It came up. Uh, what I've been doing lately is just rolling a random map out of the map pack using whatever primary you know setup that comes with the map right so that way the setup matches the map and uh just rolled up a random one and we're going to play king of the hill yep he was all set up by the time i got there so so um 
you put the one here in the center in the yes. forest and I put the one back there in the field. Yes. Now I have to keep you out of that terrain piece. Yeah. So my objective is to keep you out of that field in the back. Right. I put it in the back because you don't have that much scoring. You think you have the four units, correct? I had four units of scoring. That's correct. So my thought was to keep you keep something back there pinned right. to that location was, was what I was thinking when I placed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, it was like, well, why wouldn't you place it over there on the right in that ruin and make you come to that? Right. Well, you want to come forward. Yep, yep. <laughs> anyway, that was my idea. Not sure that it was a smart one, but that was my idea. <laughs> um, and there we go. Mine was to get you in the woods. We're all deployed. <laughs> yeah. And um, unfortunately, my Strider banner is over there in the far right, mm -hmm. um, which is nowhere near the woods, but it can go through the ruins. Yes, it can. And I'm doing this weird staying back, deploying, because these guys are freaking me out with the big, huge movement. Yeah, you were concerned about my vanguard. Vanguard, The vanguard... You did, and the, you did a lot of measuring. Yeah, vanguard and an 18-inch move means you go 30 before I go. Yeah. Which is, you know... If I get the turn. If you get first turn, yeah. which you were... De we were deploying off one, 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 one. Yep, we went back and forth. So I think you ended up with a plus one, or I ended up... I think we might have ended up even. Anyway, one way or another... Um, I think I did have a plus one, actually. We're going to go into turn one, and who won the first turn? Do you remember? Uh, you ended up going first. You, I rolled. Did I? Yeah. Okay. You yep, there you go. much better than I did. So I, uh, <laughs> you can see, I came forward slightly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did not, not anxious to get forward. Right. Um, a couple of shoots, so then we start shooting. We put a couple of bow, we put a bolt thrower and a bow shot into your clawed fiends. We killed yep. one and put two, two wounds on, on another one. one. Yep. It's a good way to start. Yeah. Your two blazing glories are back there hiding behind that hill, so they're not out there to shoot at yet. Correct. Um, yep, and that's where we got. That's about it for my turn, I think. There you are. Look at that. So I guess your two blazing glories came up over the hill. Yes. Trying to get into a fight. Looks like everyone else just kind of came forward. I was trying to push the flank, and I was trying to use the... Uh use the uh, uh, clawed fiends to shield them a little bit at least gave me yeah it definitely gave me a minus would give me a minus yeah. one right um the eoladon guys there's the ones where i fail all armor saves of one two and three that's correct right but they're only strength four i think they're two shot strength four um they're to me their limitation is their uh I guess really fast arm. They don't. They shoot twenty four, which isn't so far. But is it? They're always moving. So and long range. So they tend to be rolling sixes all the time right. to hit. Yeah. Welcome to non elf shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, non elf, non brigand shooting, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm used to playing other things that if they move at all, they don't shoot. <laughs> oh, no, right. <laughs> Handguns and other things. Um. So there you have that. And it looks like he came up and occupied the fence over there and yep. backed up with the guys that were wounded. Yep. Turn two? Turn two. Um, I think I wanted to occupy the fence, but your cavalry was too close. Could be. Yeah. Oh, with your other guys. Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, the Clawed Fiends. So the red guys with the banner of speed, the um, questing knights, they're not that worried about the woods. They're going to go right through it. Yep. And into your It was dons. still a high roll. You needed like... Was it? Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, it was still pretty Let's high. Back roll. up a little bit. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. How about if I go forward a little bit? <laughs> anyway. Do Yeah, it looks yeah, it does look like it's a bit yeah. it's a ways. I guess I wasn't worried about failing. You weren't. <laughs> um, anyway. So I come forward a bit, I you know, I smash him into there. Yep. And then rearrange stuff here on the left. Um, you can see where I am. My plan here is to kind of flee. My, my plan with these is to flee the aspirants right. when somebody charges them. So you have the Grail Knights set up there behind them. Grail Knights are not worried because they're immune to panic if they get run through. Yep. So if either one of these two units in front of me charges me, I'm going to flee and, you know, like I said, hopefully pull you out a little yep. bit. Uh, over here on the right, you can see we just kind of bunch up. Yep. I'm not sure. I'm very worried about that Myrmidon unit for whatever reason. <laughs> That's the one that doesn't have any in it. Yeah. 
Yeah, but for whatever reason, I'm a little too worried about it, I think, at this point. Yeah. I at, think at I, this point, my strategy my, was to fall back in front of you here right. and attack on the other side. Don't attack on the left. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, looking, that was my plan. Looking at this now, I don't know why I didn't push one of these units forward and put all my characters in it. Yeah. Or at least two of you know, my two fighty characters mm-hmm. in it. And just dare you to come charge me. Yeah. But I don't know. Apparently I was worried about something. So uh, shooting, it looks like we shot off another. We put another wound on the yep. uh, Claude Fiends. And I see a die behind those guys. They don't have multi-wound. I wonder what that is. Oh, that was where you were marking something. A die behind. The uh, Eolodons in the middle or oh. whatever they are. Yeah. Can't remember. Maybe it's just a stray die. I think it's just I did die. manage to get the entwining roots off on them to, yeah. with the minus two to get the uh, minus two of their shooting. So now right. they're definitely not going to be hitting anything. Yep. Um, <laughs> also managed to get the um, summer growth off on my questing nights. Yes. Which is never good <laughs> because now there is a full eight yep. man unit on your on the yellow dons. Yep. And they're going to smash them down to one. Which yeah. you're going to break, and I'm going to over. Can't believe that you know they didn't fight you better being being shooty skill, troops, being weapon skill two, and <laughs> <laughs> having shooty troops fight fighting yeah. troops. Yeah. Um, this unit does not have the Strider banner, by the way, I and mean, all eight of them came out of the woods without yep. damage. Yep. yep. Which no. is a nice bonus. Yeah, you didn't have any woods issues really. Um, so I think I killed those guys with the shooting at you the previous turn. The ones that were dead. Yeah. Correct. Um, there. So there you have that. And that's going to do it for my turn. Okay. I got to remember how I did. And so it looks I like... I charged you, you with somebody. And, you and I fled. And I redirected. Yes. I waited until you charged me with both. I, 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 no. You charged me with that unit up there with the character first. Yes. And I fled. And then you redirected to this guy needing a 12 to the grail, into my yes, Grail Knights. Yes, and the other guys and went towards... Claude Fiends not needing anywhere near a 12. Yes, but since they started with a 9. Charge over here into my uh, Aspirants. And they both made it. Yes. And here we go. There you go, those guys. Don't like fighting those guys. They're <laughs> very mean. A couple pictures of that because I wasn't and happy about it. some guys up and... Claude Fiends will turn around and start heading towards my flank to deal with my breakthrough, it looks like. Yeah, the plan was to hit these guys in a, with multi, you know face different units, but then I was looking at the figures the wrong way. And Brought the other guys around the flank just to, see if I could, yeah, just to see if I could get to that bolt thrower. Just how you had faced your cavalry. Yep. And maybe behind to those archers. So over here you smash my Grail Knights. Yes. And overran, clipped my um, aspirants, aspirants and, and I believe you reformed. You just haven't done it yet. Yeah, I did. I faced the other. There you go. And it looks like the clawed knight, clawed fiends went right through my my aspirants without taking any damage. I yeah, see I'm no, trying. I see no wounds on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I didn't kill you, and I um, f- failed my. Uh, you failed your restraint. Restraint, and I ended up running off the table. Correct. You did do that. I do remember that. Yeah, which I didn't want to do. But oh um, well. but as you notice, there's not a single wound on either one of these units. So yeah. I just want to point that out. <laughs> not that I should have had any chance on either one of those. This plates. is the high point. Okay. Uh, so turn three. <laughs> Brought the iodines up. And, yeah. So you've definitely cleared off my left flank. Yep. Um, we're going to go to my turn three. My turn three, we just... Then now I do what I said I should have done last turn. I bring my... Blue units and Knights of the Realm forward and dump all three characters into that unit. Actually, all four characters are now in that unit. Right. I think the mage was already there, damsel. But, yep. Um, bring the other questing knights up beside them. Gave up my bolt thrower here on the right. And well, not completely. Scorpion. You brought your archers over to shoot these guys yeah, down. Yeah, well, that was a mistake too. But <laughs> um, And then move the unit of uh, Realm Knights up here. On the top right to kind of flank yep. stuff and peeking run. over the fence, and also kind of keep an eye on those clawed fiends. Yep. And here's where you here's where the the mistake you said you made was with this. Uh, right, he was supposed. To, I wasn't paying the blazing attention. Blazing glories. I thought he was facing down. Oh, right. And uh, that's just not 
used to using the models. And I looked when we were doing shooting, it's like, that guy's facing, or magic, and that right. guy's facing the wrong way. Well, I mean, if he was facing the top left of the table, I would have turned and moved towards the other. Well, I was guys. hoping with that one covering that angle and this one covering uh, that angle and right. those guys, somebody was going to get to you. Correct. You know, I would have preferred yeah. it to be one of these guys. But, but uh, you are set now. Somebody, I mean, they're not yes. that far away from the Claude Fiends. Yeah, the Claude Fiends got a rear charge And they're on fast. You. Exactly. Um, so, back here, back to my turn. Um, yes. Bolt Thrower is going to fire across the Eolodons, who are yep. just small, so no penalty, and thump into that guy and yep. three slam wounds. three wounds onto him. Yep. So he's got two left. He's got one, uh, two left. Yeah, he's two got left. Four. Yeah. He's got four or th five? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Five. He's, got, he's five. got five. So he's got two left. He's got two left, yeah. So then your turn. Uh, Claude Fiends, make that charge into my rear. Yeah, they also have the minus two for the, uh, I think you put the spell on them. Um, when twining Roots or whatever, that's what that card is. Yes, the Twining Roots is on them with yeah. minus two. Weapon skill and weapon skill and shooting, which yeah. doesn't really matter. Right, right, right. Offense, defense, weapon, weapon skill. Um, but they make the charge, get into my rear. So I'm happy about that. Um, over here, the just kind of redeploying. Claude Fiends came back on the board. So I don't know. Yeah, these guys just call back, and these guys come forward. Um, then I bring the uh, the uh, sirens into the woods to cover on the flank. The other. And this is where, <laughs> this was just foolish on my part. So, actually, we're not showing it, but the Myrmidons, originally I was going to march into the woods because I was going to be out of your, just to get out of your arc. Right. Which is what I should have done. Mm -hmm. Instead, I try to charge against Correct. your the white, white unit. The white knights, which already, already had stone skin on. So there was no point in charging those guys anyway. Um, they would have, no one else would have been able to help them, but right. that wasn't going to work out. So that was a, another big mistake facing the guy the wrong way and then charging that because that left those Myrmidons isolated all by themselves sitting down there okay. which was not their mission so yeah there's that charge completed and you that's the wounded guy on the top left I believe yes um, just went around to sit there and wait to help he's, finish yeah, off my figure I get behind the hill so he doesn't get shot off and <laughs> yeah. you know he still goes before you do so hopefully it's it'll be enough um, but this turn your mage blight showed up and I, yeah, I put them there to try to slow you down. Okay. I figured if the white guys hit him, if he didn't roll. It's got both units chaffed. Yes. The white units, I think, needs a 10 overrun to the Mermaid. Right. So recall. they needed a high over. So, okay, maybe I'll, I'll get lucky and you won't get right. to me. Um, but the you do have my blue unit there in the center with all my characters chaffed. Yes. At you're... least as far as the unit is right. concerned. Right, but your characters can get through. And I wasn't worried about your characters. Um... Well, I can only charge one, so it's not Yeah, terrible. I didn't mind if that if just the characters went into right. the Myrmidons. Um, I should have measured the distance on the, uh, on the Blazing Glory, but I didn't do that. Um, so there you go. You charged in and did nothing. I did nothing. <laughs> and me, on the other hand, did you, four wounds. You did four wounds and, with, you, and you turned around. <laughs> how did I? No, no, no. Sorry. I think I did. I don't with, think with I the, didn't with do the four crumble. wound. But you had the unstable thing, yes, which caused the extra. Right. And I wasn't doing a good job making my leadership checks. Right. Yeah. No, apparently not. Yeah. Um, but for you to come in and do nothing and me to be able to turn and face you. Yeah. And with my turn coming up now, yeah, it's not quite how I, I should be able to, to eliminate you and turn back around to face <laughs> the blazing glory guy behind me. Yep, is what you know it looks like now. Um, so there we have that. Oh, and over here on the right, your sirens have smashed my bolt thrower right. and overrun into my archers because I and the way you foolishly them, placed them. Yeah, I was able to to overrun into the archers. And it's worse yeah. because I didn't need, I've got enough movement, I didn't need to be there. Right. And You were hoping anyway. I'd lose a lot of guys in the rubble. I was, and I was actually, Millions. I was also hoping to shoot you yeah. better than I did. And between two sets of dangerous terrain checks on ones and twos and a yeah. round of shooting, I've done absolutely, I've done one wound you got, to you. You got one guy, yeah. yeah which is, yeah, subpar I, yeah. to say the least. Um, so there you have that. This is over here on the left mm -hmm. again. So back to my turn. So I can't charge with the unit because you do have me just barely chaffed. Yep. You, I mean, you have the unit barely chaffed. Well, it took me like three hours to set that unit up. <laughs> You're exaggerating. It, <laughs> yeah. was like a, it was like two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So we, since I can't charge the, uh, it's you know, I play Batonians like I play orcs. The yep. uh, the general's coming out into the blazing glory. Yep. At this point, I wasn't real sure what that blazing glory did. Right. Um. So anyway. Uh, so there you have that the white unit charged into the flank of the mage blight gremlins Mm -hmm. and what else do we have that's about it for that's about all I got left Um, you can see in the green knights came forward healed and positioned themselves on the flank of the myrmidons and the other unit that could not charge just Pivoted and reformed and backed up four. And then the white guys hit the. Uh, and the white guys hit them. And there's hit him, my, hit my the flank. Uh, Lord guy with the uh, virtue of renown yep. has made it into the blazing glory. Yep. My thinking there, of course, is I've got the Black Knight's tabard, so you can't kill me. Right. Um, and there we get that. And I did make, by the way, I did I recast stone skin on myself. Yes. Recast. You were having a terrible magic time. Yeah. Because you can see, there's three spells off here from mine. Yeah. I mean, there's the Oaken Throne on the bottom right, Stone Skin on the white unit, Entwining Roots back on the Myrmidons. Yeah. And something on him, I'm guessing Healing Waters, on my uh, Lord. Yeah, well, you had a lot of magic dice that turn, and I didn't dispel anything, I don't think. So, uh, the Lord on the turn smashed in the Blazing Glory and just killed him outright. Um, Yeah. I must have killed you before you went. I don't remember. What was your agility on the charge? Seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah, you probably killed me before I went. Yeah. Because you're only five, I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Because um, I can't imagine you attacked with AP5 and no, didn't no, no. do any wounds at yeah, all to no, me. No, I don't think he did anything. So, I don't think he ever got to attack. Yeah. Um, so, that happened and there. I didn't make any wards or anything. So. so, he turns around and faces back into the uh, yep. center of the field. Kind of the center of the field. Where everything is, I should say. Yep. And what else do we have? Do I have a picture? Up top, the red the red uh, questing knights make short work of the Myrmidons, even though the Myrmidons are going first and can't seem to wound. Yep. Not the Myrmidons, <laughs> the... Um, Sorry, the... Uh, Claude Fiends, Claude yeah. Fiends. Yep, um, no wounds. No wounds. <laughs> Again. In two turns. Um, they finish you this turn, turn around and face the Blazing Glory with one wound left. Mm-hmm. And there you have that, going into your turn four. Yes. Bottom of turn four. So that's the situation. You can see you're also, your sirens have smashed my um, brigands. And this time, the terrain got one. I don't think the terrain, I think you killed one with a brigand. You think I killed one? You yeah. think you made another set of rolls? That would be very disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> probably did though. Anyway, so, um, so you've killed them. And they're closing in on my second bolt thrower. Yep. Scorpion, excuse me. (laughs) Yes. Um, So it's your turn. uh, So, yeah. So this looks bad. So I said, okay, well, I've got, you know, 16 strength, 5 attacks. And (laughs) if I hit you in the flank uh, with uh, these guys, that might help with some... 16 strength, 5? They fight in three ranks. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let you in the flank, so maybe that'll be enough to get through your armor. It's just about your armor. It's all about the armor. And I have because I've got stone skin up, so it's definitely yeah. about armor. Yeah. I mean, you're needing sixes to wound me yep. with everybody. Yep. yep. Um. Actually, no. No. Fives with the guys Fives. in front. Yeah. <clears throat> but you do have entwining roots on you. Yeah. So fours to hit, fives to wound. And then I'm going to try to counter some of that with my own magic. Yep. And so that was the only charge, and of course, him charging into the bolt thrower. That was a charge. I think it was the only charge. Yeah, there they go. They yep. go into the bolt thrower, and then I bring the Iodons up to the wall, move the character over there, which was foolish on my part. Um, so he left the Claude Fiend unit. I mean, the uh, yeah, Marmadon unit. Marmadon unit. I should have just stuck with them. Uh, well, they're out then, of arc over there. Yeah. Well, I put him out. No, still, I mean, he has fight. I wasn't used to using this guy. Oh. Okay. And then I'm not, no, I don't know what the hell I was doing at this point. Then I just moved guys up and not paid any attention to who was around me. It does look like you lost a siren in the woods. Didn't you have five when you got charged? Uh, looks like I lost one in the woods, yeah. Look at that. Woods got one. <laughs> um, and up top, the Blazing Glory doesn't want to deal with the front of that Questing Knight unit. Correct. I didn't have 
that many wounds and your strength six swinging at me so yeah <laughs> come on that's not that bad yeah and you are weapon skill um four at the moment yep <laughs> yep still so you'll need fours to hit i guess yeah that's i didn't mind hitting the great. rear or the back but i didn't right. want to hit the front i can i can understand um so there we go there's a top picture of that you can see everything charged in so yeah so we do the fights and of course those guys killed those <laughs> yep i killed did i kill did, one you did kill one yes. or two uh okay. once i one. lost one before so. okay so killed one there um the shooting did nothing shooting of course did, My, did, i've got a wound on a character over there somehow i'm not sure how but um did you have a snipish spell or no did you have a miscast early in the game maybe oh the mage is miscast yeah, correct yeah, yeah the mage miscast and put a wound on herself yeah um back to my turn yeah. um because you can see in the center you killed um so tell. I, let me back up one i think i killed two guys yeah you did you killed the back two yep with all that and yep. uh and you killed i held uh looks like i killed two and plus guys on the flank i think uh and two on the flank yeah Looks like I killed two on the flank, two in the front. Right. Um, but whatever the combat res was, I held or... I think you actually won. Did I win? Yeah. Or we... Oh, no, we tied. Did we tie? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We tied. So you would have a charge flank and... Yes. Two wounds, and I had two wounds, a banner, and a rank. Yep. But you got two ranks up front, too. Anyway. Can't imagine how you could have lost that one. Oh, I had a charge. Yeah, a charge and a banner. I don't have a banner. None Whatever. of these models have anything that looks like a banner, Correct. so I, don't, okay. I didn't pay for banners. So back to my turn. Back to my turn. I'm going to... The knights up there, they're directed... It looks like they're pointing at my guys, but they're not charging my guys. The, the, they're painting, yes. They're going to charge yes. the flank of the Myrmidons, not yes. the, not the uh, questing knights. Correct. They did not get taken over. Um, the Myrmidons had exposed their flank to that unit on the right, which is my powerhouse unit right now, because it's got... All, it's got two fighty characters. Yeah, and this was that. So that I was, well, one fighty I character was in the BSP. moving, and then somebody was chatting with me, and I wasn't. I, I, lo yeah. I just wasn't paying attention. And the um, my lord who just killed the blazing glory has the option of going into right. clawed fiends, but I also saw the. I've got a corner to come up and corner clip your character. Yes. And charge across there the front and get your character. Right. Which is not a short charge, but it's still like a fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, it's still a very doable. Yeah, but all I had to do was charge. keep him where he was and Correct. move those guys straight instead of at this angle. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to do that. So those are my three charges for this turn, mm -hmm. and uh, the <laughs> character up top failed, um, but yes. everybody else, but the other two made it, of course. Yep. So um, my mage actually, my mage actually took a second wound on dangerous terrain. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so now, now she has two wounds on her. Yep. Um, and those two are in the fight, the two in the back. They just haven't been pushed yeah, yeah, far enough. Yeah. Or did I lose? No. Okay. I was going to say, or did I lose them in terrain? But I think they're just pushed up there. They're just not. No, you didn't lose them in terrain. Yeah, I don't think so. Anyway. All right. Um, the uh, Red Knights, the Red Knights of um, quest, Questing Knights just Come made on. their march test and... Yep. Whipped around and gave the Blazing Glory my flank. He can come in, but he's got three string six attacks on him. And he causes fear, so I think I'm hitting him on twos or maybe threes. Yep. Actually, yeah, twos, threes at this point. Yep. Um, so, and he's got one wound left. Two wounds left. Anyway. Uh, so I wasn't that worried about that. So I smashed into the thing up top, going to them. The only thing I'm concerned at all about is I'm going to have three clawed, five clawed fiends in the flank of my lord up there well no because you because uh, the way these guys on the fence in your charge you were just barely you had an overrun into the flank of those guys oh correct right 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 right, right. um well, if like they if they inch. break them and make it yeah is what it, yeah yep so that's what we have there um doo -doo -doo -doo. uh you can see the uh, Oaken Throne and a spell gets me my missing knight back yep. over here. Um, we we do break you here. Yeah, I did nothing to you. And, and of we, course, I only had three. We nine, did a lot times. of wounds. Yeah, you, you blew them out. Um, which the uh, Unstable popped you, yep, which is I failed. kind of amazing. Yeah. I mean, to pop a unit like that. Um, up top, between the two units, we also popped that unit of Myrmidons yep. up top. And I think I killed like one more night 
I think I see one white knight yeah, dead. That's all I did. And you killed um Siren. I, I on don't the think flank. they're all dead. I think you were starting the Siren. Dead. The Siren's yes. on the flank. Correct. I peeled off at least the back rank, if not more, because yeah. at that point I think you were using dice rather than picking up models. Yeah, I, I did, because you killed uh I was down to one rank and I popped. Right. And we measured, nice. I made this overrun here on the bottom right, yeah. rolled the dice, got into the flank of the Myrmid, I mean, keep calling them Myrmidons, got into the flank of the Clawed, Clawed Fiends, because um, I barely clip them so it becomes a yep. new charge. I did roll my Dangerous Terrain check for my mage just to see if she would have died yep. in that. And she didn't. Slammed into the flank of them. And the Eolidons over here with your general have no nothing to do. And every and they're facing pretty much everyone yeah, at this point. Yeah. So except for the your guy in the very back, you know, your blazing glory with his right, uh, right, right, two right. wounds left. So uh, we called it at that point. Yeah, and I called it. At 20 and that years. was a that was a tabling curb stomping. It was a. Uh, well, that's the first time you played in a while. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. So mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Um, I blame Matt Damon. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what did I do? Let's back up. Where's this? So, when I was looking at this, of course, mm -hmm. my mis my big first mistake was my whole idea was to to flee with this unit of aspirants up top, right? Up top, which you did, which I did. But knowing that, there's no reason for the Grail Knights to be within twelve because that's the only thing you have an option to redirect right. into, right? So why give you some? Again, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, probably at some point. Why give you a twelve? Right. There's no reason to. Yeah. Um, because there's no way you're going to catch the aspirants, and you know, anyway, that was dumb. Um, here, I eyeballed it instead of measuring it. I don't think it would have mattered, but it was just there was no need for me to even give you the option of charging past into the white knights. Um. Yeah, well, you had options, though. Um, I mean, all I had to do was back up one inch. You were just true. barely seeing them. True, but that worked out to your advantage, I think. So, you failing that charge definitely worked yeah. out to my advantage. But I'm, I'm just saying, I didn't, I didn't need to give that to you. You, you didn't, you didn't. Which is a mistake on my part. Yeah, I think even though it's what I tried to stop, and I was unable. Yeah. Even, even though it dice. didn't cost me, yeah. it's still a mistake. Yeah. On my part. Um, and over here on the right... Well, you know, I could compound it by making a bigger mistake. So. You can. <laughs> you corrected my mistake by making a bigger one. By, yeah. well, again, not rolling high enough. Because that's not a very far charge. No, I just, I don't know I, what you did. You I, just blew that. I just rolled poorly. Three dice, and it looks like you maybe needed a seven. Uh, yeah. Just by it glancing was, at it. I have it no was, idea. It's it, been a week or so. A week was, or two. Uh, it was a six, actually. No, <laughs> okay. Rolled badly. Um, <laughs> and over here, I have a, had the mistake of rolling badly by not doing much to your sirens over here on the right with my 11 shots at short range. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that happens. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then I put this in here for you. Yeah. Um, the guy just... Yeah. I think you were just... Anyway. The game was taking a while and I think you were pushing a little bit. I, I was I just doing some things and as I said I was chatting too and that's like the depth for me. Because there's also no like like you said there's no reason for <laughs> yeah. him not to be pivoted Correct. more and this one behind him to be pivoted more to the left exactly because there's nothing down here to the bottom of right. the screen because their whole mission was to try to corral that right. guy once you broke through it's like oh we broke through I'm gonna kill these guys yeah yeah not they so were much. yours at that point yeah if you know. if I played some... not <laughs> Correct. Stupid. yeah. But anyway, it's what it is. Like I said, first game yeah. back. I said these guys, they had the move. I measured it to march out of your arc into the woods. That's what they should have done. Who? The um, the uh, Myrmidons here. Instead Do they? Of, instead of, yeah. Ten can get past me? Yeah, oh, just out of your arc. That's a bad mistake on my part. Just to, instead of that charge. I, okay. It was fine until we put the stone skin up. And then once you got You there, out of, uh, you would have had to make a march test I then. I would have had. Right? Um, no, I think I was. If you yes. don't have to make a march test, then you couldn't have been. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. I'm looking at your unit. Yeah, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. But um, but so that's gonna do it. But those and then the the one move is just that was just total bonehead. So a lot of a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Mistakes. We'll were leave made. it at that. Yes. Um. So yeah. I did learn one thing. Uh oh. That the tokens I was using were insufficient to play with Demon Legion, so I had to buy more tokens. Oh, you mean for Veil tokens? <laughs> for Veil tokens. Yeah. 
Well, you're only channeling what one? Well, like one plus the Demon Legion. Yeah, like, but I mean, plus some... you're having this problem, and you're only channeling one. Well, I had enough of this game, <laughs> but right. I, if I did anything else with this army, <laughs> like most demon armies I'm seeing are channeling a yeah. crap load, and then they're also exchanging at a higher rate, exactly. and all this other nonsense. It's just like, oh. So yeah. just make sure you have a lot of to- veil tokens when you play this army if you do anything heavy magic. <laughs> All right. So uh, anyway, post uh, what you think of these little, uh, those mighty Myrmidons <laughs> in the notes, if you would, please. So I'm, just, you know, I'm just glad I've got use out of an army that I'm just, like, I haven't used in two decades. I'm just looking anything. for any support on the fact that those things do not look like <laughs> strength five creatures. <laughs> I don't mind them having the AP, the decent <laughs> AP, because they're they're mandibles. But strength five, but Myrmidons, the, they are not. <laughs> strength five for little crawling centipedes. No, oh, I'll adjust it in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it. Till next time. Thanks for listening.